Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share how I do my um, everyday makeup. So I think I have done one uh, a while ago. So now um, this is my another way that I usually, if I put on makeup, uh, this is how I do it. So it is, it is kind of simple and because I'm not a beauty guru and I don't do makeup um, every day. So um, yeah, please bear with me. I just want to share with you um, how I do it. Let's get started. Recently, um, I like this uh, La Mouth Baby Cream very much because I, if you watch my video, you know that this is my uh, latest uh, uh, purchase uh, for the BB cream. So I really like it. So I just cover my face with the BB cream. And then I use um, this Honey Bee Gardens Presta Powder to set the um, foundation. Um, this color I'm using today is Luminous. I actually like Supernatural more, but I have to finish the Luminous. That's why um, I'm using Luminous today. And I'm about to finish soon, as you can see. Um, and I like to use this kind of um, powder puff. Um, I bought it from eBay. It's very cheap. Like I bought, um, they sell for about a bag of 12 or something on eBay. It's very cheap. Um, and then I use a brush to um, just brush away the extra powder if there is. But I feel like um, by doing this step, it makes the foundation looks better. Uh, for the eyebrow, I'm going to use this uh, Lily Lolo's Eyebrow uh, Duo, uh, which I, if you watch my uh, last video, you uh, you should see that I did an um, unbox for um, this Eyebrow Duo. So I want to practice more by using this one, so I'm going to use this one. And actually I'm getting used to this darker color now. Like in my unbox video, I reckon this is a bit too dark for me. But um, now I'm getting used to this darker color because, you know, when you put it on, um, it will fade out a little bit. Um, so that's why after a while, actually the color looks very okay. So I actually don't mind that this is, um, I mean, I actually don't mind this darker color now. You see how easy is that? It is super easy to just put the color on. And then use a cotton bud to just adjust the bra if that's not the shape that you like. And then I apply the uh, wax on just a little bit because I reckon if it's too much, it makes bra very shiny like there's a wax on, on the brow. So I just put a little bit to set it. And then I'm applying some primer on my eyelid. Um, this is Lily Lolo's um, eye primer. I uh, apply the yellow one on my eyelid first. Before I bought the primer, I actually don't use eye primer. Uh, just apply the um, um, the eyeshadow on directly. But since now I got a primer, so I put the primer on, and then I will put this. Um, um, natural color. I think they call a uh, bluff shade or something. For the eyeshadow, I'm going to use um, this Lily Lolo's eye palette as well, which I bought uh, um, during the Easter holiday. And I did the unbox video for this one. So you sh if you watch my video, you know, you should know that I uh, just got it um, not long ago. So this is um, called Petal to the Metal Eye Palette. Um, 
I'm going to do a natural color because it, this is my almost everyday uh, makeup. I mean the natural everyday makeup if I decided to put uh, makeup on on that day. So um, I basically I just want to do a very natural makeup uh, to make my face uh, more bright and more energetic rather than like it's a very obvious uh, makeup. So that's why I will choose the natural color. The first color I'm going to put is this color. This is called a uh, Hope Up. It is a matte light beige color. So I'm going to put the uh, color on my whole eyelid. It is not obvious if you can see. It is just a very light brown color. So I may need to use a little bit more. Can you see the difference between this one and this one? It does have a little bit um, very natural brownish color on there. And then I'm going to put this darker brown on my um, eye uh, corner. So this is called pole position and it is a matte soft brown color. And then I'm going to apply this lightest color, which is called um, Photo Finish. It's a creamy nude matte color uh, on my eyebrow bone. I will also put a little bit uh, here, which looks like the trend nowadays. Everyone is doing that. So I'm going to do that as well. I think it does look nicer. And then I'm going to put this um, darkest color called Black Sink. It's a, a matte, almost black color uh, to draw an eyeliner. Uh, actually, I like to use uh, eyeliner pen, but uh, because I have this uh, palette, so I want to make the most use of this palette. So that's why I um, just use it to draw an eyeliner. My eyes are so red today. And then I'm going to put this um, brown color uh, under my eye. I usually don't do that, but now because I bought all these colors, so I put a lot of, I mean, I mean, I put more on my eyes now. Just a little bit to um, make everything looks nicer together. It's not actually not that obvious as you can see. You can hardly see that actually. And then I'm going to put this um, dark grey color. It's called Carbon. It's a matte dark grey color uh, under my eye, uh, eye as well to make my eyes look deeper. And then just use a brush to blend them together. Hopefully they look natural. Okay. How do you think? And okay, lastly, this seems such a trend in the um, Asian beauty uh, community. So I'm going to do that as well. So I'm going to put this um, gold color uh, in the middle of my eyelid. Um, this called uh, gold metal. Uh, it's a shimmer, uh, light gold color. So I just use my finger 
to put a little bit on my eye, middle of my eyelid. How do you think? Better? Okay, eye is done. Now I just apply the tip of bronzer um, on my face. And this is um, Physician's Formula, which I bought it for ages. Because I reckon this um, BB cream is a little bit too white for me. So I just quickly put um, a very light layer of bronzer on my face. Hopefully it will darken the uh, whole face a little bit. I'm going to put this uh, brush. This is a dual set. Uh, one side is a bronzer, the other side is a brush. So it is very good value for money actually and it is not expensive. I brought, uh, I bought it from iHerb as well, and it is clean. I think it rated quite good on Fang Dirty. So I just put a little bit um brush on my face because I don't want a lot. I just want a natural one. Yeah, just a little bit. Because just now um I put the foundation first. So when I apply the eyeshadow, I reckon they a little bit fall to the dark, uh to the uh under eye, the eye bag. So I'm going to use just the dirty sponge that I used just now to just quickly uh, press on my under eye. And then I'm going to apply a little bit um pressed powder uh, under my eye as well. Uh, but I do not want to apply too much because like for us, the mature people, uh, we got lots of lines. If I apply too much, uh, uh, press the foundation actually it will um, make the lines more obvious so I just put a little bit under my eyes just light under my eyes okay so the eye is done oh, and the face is done as well and lastly, I'm going to apply the lipstick. I usually like to put the uh, lip gloss on first, but all my untinted lip gloss smell quite funny at the moment. Maybe I keep them too long. So I haven't bought a new um, lip gloss yet. And so I just apply the, uh, uh, the lipstick on my lips without the lip gloss. Um, this is Karen Morales uh, 09, Color 09. It's a very beige natural color. If I don't put makeup on, actually it's a bit too nude for me. It looks a little bit very glossy, so sometimes I like to use um, um, a tissue paper to just press it for a while to make it more matte. So as you can see, I'm still not using um, mascara. So that's the next step. Hopefully in future I will do it. But so far, I think it's quite okay. I don't really need mascara. I'm, I just don't use to, I mean, I just don't want to use mascara. So it looks still all right now. But of course you can put the mascara on if uh, you are a mascara, mascara girl. So yeah. So that's all for this, um, my everyday uh, makeup. I hope you will like it. If you like it, please thumbs up and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.